Japan. Today, I will talk about Sakamoto Ryoma, one of the most popular hero in Japanese history. Let's go and see. Cut! Who is Sakamoto Ryoma? I don't know whether he is famous worldwide, but every Japanese knows him. He is a historical hero in the 19th century, so many movies and TV dramas about him have been produced. He may be the one who made the modern Japan without the class system. He was born as a low-class samurai in Tosa Domain in Shikoku Island in 1836. There was a class system of samurai in Tosa Domain lower class samurai and upper class samurai. So he felt a sense of doubt about it. Anyway, he was an expert swordsman of Hokushin Ittoryu school. In those days, the battleship of the United States of America came to the offshore of Japan. As a Tokugawa shogunate had a policy of national isolation uh, USA threatened Japan to open the country. Ryoma saw the black iron battleship with his own eyes. Many people began to realize that the days of swords, the days of shogun would be over. And Ryoma left Tosa Domain without permission, uh, which was a crime in order to make a new world. To make a long story short, Ryoma met Katsu Kaishu, who was a worship magistrate of Tokugawa shogunate. Katsu Kaishu told Ryoma that Japan had to get the financial power by foreign trade and to get a navy force to protect Japan. Ryoma agreed this idea and he became a member of the Navy. And he learned a lot about Navy and ship. But Katsu Kaishu was fired because some members of his Navy defected to the side of anti-shogun forces. And Ryoma was employed by Satsuma Domain in Kyushu Island because he had the knowledge of the Navy. Satsuma Domain was anti-shogun side. There, uh, Ryoma made Kameyama Shachu. Uh, it's a business company of trading and shipping. Uh, Kameyama Shachu is said to be the origin of a uh, business company of Japan. In those days, there were two main domains which were anti-shogun sides. Uh, they are Satsuma and Choshu, but they hated each other. So Ryoma persuaded Satsuma and Choshu to stop fighting and to cooperate to make a new and ideal government. And Ryoma succeeded to unite them. Ryoma hated wars. He didn't want anti-shogun forces to fight against Tokugawa shogun. So he made a plan to change administrative power without any words. His idea was to ask Tokugawa Yoshinobu, the last shogun, to pass on his political power to the emperor. This petition was delivered to shogun by Yamanouchi Yodo, the ex-feudal lord. In those days, Ryoma was in Kyoto, and one day, an expert swordsman of Tokugawa attacked Ryoma, and his skull was cut. He died at the age of 32. After Ryoma was killed, the last shogun Yoshinobu enacted the restoration of imperial rule and a new democratic government started. But Ryoma could not see the new world he longed for. Ryoma was a dreamer. He dreamed a world without class system. He dreamed a world 
without any words. He dreamed of traveling around the world. He dreamed a world where people can do whatever they want and make their dream come true. And he made the base of democratic Japan without war. And he made the first business company. Actually, the founder of Mitsubishi Corporation, Iwasaki Yataro, was a member of Ryoma's company. What would have become of Ryoma if he had survived those days? I guess he would not have become the Prime Minister of Japan. I think he was just a young and curious and friendly samurai who really wanted to see the world. At Fushimi in Kyoto City, Sakamoto Ryoma Festival is held every November on his birthday. You can meet Ryoma and his wife Oryo in this parade. Actually, I was taken for Ryoma three times this day. This street in Fushimi is called Ryoma Street because Ryoma often stayed at an inn along this street. This is Teradaya Japanese style inn Ryoma stayed at. But this is a rebuilt building. On January 23rd, in 1866, Ryoma was attacked when he was staying here. Actually, if you reserve, you can stay here, weekdays only. This is Ryoma's gun, Smith & Wesson Model 2 Army. It says bullet hole. 
This is sword cut. When Ryoma was attacked, his wife Oryo was bathing, and she ran to Ryoma and told him to run away. This is bathing Oryo. Next, I visited the Ryozen Museum of History. In this museum, you can see the great exhibition about Ryoma. Or Shinsengumi, and you can learn about the history of the end of Edo period. It is located at Higashiyama in Kyoto City. Cameras are not allowed inside, so I will show you the appearance of the museum. The main characters at the end of Edo period. Ryoma is waiting at the entrance. Next, I will show you the ruins of Omiya where Ryoma was killed. It is a sushi restaurant now, located in Kawaramachi Street, downtown Kyoto. Ryoma and his friend Nakaoka Shintaro were attacked and killed by an expert swordsman of Tokugawa. Ryoma was not carrying his sword with him. Lastly, let's visit Ryoma's grave. It is on the hill. These are graves of warriors. Fought for the last shogun at the end of Edo period. Sakamoto Ryoma and Nakaoka Shintaro. The left grave is Ryoma, and the right one is Shintaro. The great view of Kyoto from their graves. How did you like the episode of Sakamoto Ryoma? I hope you like it. See you soon. Bye.